right. Um, we are starting off on this note. Uh, this weekend was a bit of mixed reaction and mixed feelings, uh, especially with the women's uh, teams winning and Pim Dakwa and the Ghana national uh, team, uh, women's national team winning and the under 20 also winning. But then the sad news uh, that hits Ghana and the entire football world is Rafael Gamena, the 28 year old Rafael Gamena, uh, who collapsed and died in the Albanian League. I'm sure so a lot of you uh, have heard the story. Very painful, very tragic. Uh, lots of uh, tributes have uh, started pouring in since he lost his life. Moses Simon of Nigeria, uh, Lawrence Atizigi, international football associations and federations have sent their messages of condolences uh, to Ghana football and of course, Rafael Jamena's family. This is Rafael Jamena. Uh, in 2017, we all watched uh, Ghana Five Ethiopia zero, a very potent striker, very potent striker. But uh, destiny in this world, you can never predict. Very potent striker on his debut, two goals for the Black Stars, and a player who has been followed and scouted as an academy player from Red Bull went to Switzerland, followed and scouted extensively by uh, 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 Brighton and Hove Albion. A million dollar move to the Premier League then hearts problem there is a latest update mm. before we go on the rundown of um, Rafael Gamena okay. there is a latest update the latest update from Albania that we can confirm is that the prosecutor's office in Albania uh, they have stormed the offices of the club FC Ignatia they have seized documents they have arrested uh, some officials Team medical officers, the club's leadership have been arrested uh, in connection with the death of Rafael Jamena. They want to know the medical condition of the player, how he was able to sign for the club and play despite having an implant. And uh, uh, Rafael Jamena was playing with an ICD uh, in his heart. ICD in a medical condition, those who know, an uh, implantable cardioverter deprivilator. Uh, it can be able to detect the irregular heartbeat mm -hmm. so he had a, a heart problem okay then instead so back quit football he decided to continue with the game but then i was seeing your yeah, icd uh, it's like um machine, I I machine. Akuma. Okay. so when the heart is not beating well then it can notify him say you have to stop what you are doing or the heart uh, beat is irregular okay so as a footballer you will not advise that something like that is is put in your heart and you so continue to play at the top level of course it be a, some community football once a while yeah. even that is not advisable so this morning uh if you go to albania the news is that the offices of fc ignatia mm -hmm. where rafael gamena played has been raided by the prosecutor's office okay. uh independent investigation uh, a national investigation has been instituted into the death of the Ghanaian footballer then secondly this is the images from the hospital we can also say that uh, from the hospital where the Ghanaian footballer was transferred to that is the Kavaja hospital in Albania uh, Rafael Gamena was transferred there after he collapsed on the field the doctors there have confirmed that he came in the hospital in the black coat uh, he oh. came into the hospital when he was dead so the doctor said there was no activity whatsoever with regards to the hearts for them to even detect that there was a problem or not. So the doctors have confirmed that. Uh, so if you can see, uh, let's go to that image. At the tail end, when he went to the hospital, you can clearly see that all the footballers were crying. All the people around the bus were crying. So if you go back to the video where Rafael Jamena was sent to the hospital in the ambulance, yes, uh, later, at the latter part of it, you can clearly see that when he was taken into the hospital, they all saw that he was dead. Because at the hospital, this is where he was being moved from the ambulance. And they could see the doctors came to the ambulance and then uh, a lot of the footballers, Omo Beba, they would put their hands on their head. When you see that at the hospital, you know say, this is uh, the situation. So Rafael Jamina, yes, at this point, uh, if you watch the body language and the demeanor, uh, of the people around you can clearly see say they left him uh, at the hospital no 
obviously to be transported to the morgue yeah. because according to the doctors he arrived dead and another latest development uh -huh. uh, this morning is that rafael jamena uh he was in the city of uh, the ignatia club okay. now this morning the body has been transferred to Albanian capital tirana okay a a very major autopsy oh. yes uh, it's become a very big issue in Albania. so the body has been transferred from that hospital it's going to the capital for autopsy mm. prosecutors do not want to have an independent inquiry uh, in ghana we a coroner's inquest independent inquiry into the circumstances surrounding his death so this one too is another thing so this morning the body is being transferred from um, Ignatia Club on the base to uh, Tirana where he his uh, body will be uh, the autopsy will be conducted mm. and uh, th this is uh, simply because in the 23rd minute of the game against Partizan uh, he collapsed over the Rogozina Stadium uh, in Kavaj that is where the game was all going on Saturday and the team doctors ambulance personnel and the doctors of the hospital Kavaja have also been questioned like I said, the doctors mm -hmm. at the Kavaja Hospital, Omar confirmed, he said the body, the, the, the player arrived dead. Mm. When he got to the hospital, he was in the black mood. The there was no, yes, there was no condition of movement or the heartbeat or anything. He mm. came there in the black uh, mood. And the description that they give, according to the doctors, you know, is that one, the patient came to the hospital, uh, Kavaja Hospital, in the black mood. That is, he had exitus, medical term for death. Mm. Uh -huh. He had exitus. Uh, that is, he had passed on when he arrived without vital parameters, without tension, without breathing, without ca uh, cardiac activity. There was no activity in the EKG. That is it. So the mm. player, according to Dr. Lala, who performed um, uh, uh, the diagnosis on the player. So that is a more initial remark to the prosecutor. Meanwhile, they have been questioned and asked to submit or more files you know, to the uh, body of uh, investigation. That's the, uh, uh, the body in uh, Albania, prosecutor's office. The club doctors and other senior staff have also been interrogated. So apart from the hospital of Kavaj staff, you know, the club doctors have also been interrogated. Okay. Their documents have been seized. The offices of FC Ignatia has been ransacked this morning. All their documents especially with related to the transfer mm. of a uh, year Jamina medical all the documents yeah. medical records have been seized okay. uh, the report of a forensic expert will be expected to be added to the file before the next line of investigation will be uh, uh, continued or proceeded by the prosecutor so this is a very big issue there for a footballer who has an icd implant uh, in his heart to get the pass to play football when a lot of clubs had terminated the yeah. co contract of the player for his own um, safety. Yeah, yeah. If you remember, Manchester City former striker Sergio Aguero, doctors detected a similar um, um, activity or a similar heart problem. He went to Barcelona. They detected. And that was not even as serious as that because he had played his football majority of his football large yeah, part of his yeah. uh, career uh, professional years were gone but aguero said no i'll quit then who did the argentina national team achieve to the world cup following barcelona and other teams so aguero had a similar issue then the doctors advised him he quit yeah there was this zambian player enoch computer Mwepu. Yeah. enoch Mwepu was also playing for brighton yeah. and one thing we must understand Rafael Gamena was on his way to sign for Brighton. Agreement was done. But Brighton, because Omo, Omo medical team, no, an EPL, a, a very extensive and rigorous medical exercise yeah. before you can play in the EPL, no, you have to pass the highest of medical examination to play there because the game is very intense. Mm. So Brighton, even though Enokumwepu had played for them already, but then the next time they said his heart has started developing a problem. In Okumwepu, very young player, one of the young chaps, this is the guy so in Zambia national team. Then they said he has to quit football. Of course, he quit. He went to Zambia and one time he collapsed in his house. It tells you, he said, the medical 
uh, detection no, was was accurate yeah. because he collapsed in his house he was put in uh, intensive care for some weeks in in zambia before he recovered but now he's treating his heart problem and has quit football so this is enoch computer in Wepu, a very talented young player who played for the zambian national team now he has retired from football i think at the age of 23 yeah. or so very young so that is that is it uh, there are other players in this same conditioner uh patrick eken patrick eken uh, as for him the same thing happened in in, in, in uh, cameroonian he went to romania the same thing happened to him so there is this thing about um the black players suffering this particular uh, uh, heart problems ah a heart dream pa. and to the advice ah now i was say a brand here ah your friend or rafael gamina uh otino or non so sabi sabi obi anen and crabia or the baby as it obi anen kwa yon befa suwako there is no way to blame the player even yeah. when you want to blame him to what extent there is no way to blame him obi anen crabia or the free we are or by dr prince pambo in 2021, Rafael Gamena collapsed. I'm a doctor and advice and say, On Jai Bob Bokra, na umpe a juma for free or football mono, and you call running not there, a be hard drain. And um, you cannot say the player was 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 obstinate. Uh, now so many, and I say, BB, sir, no, the obstinacy will, will stem from the destiny. Yeah. <laughs> what do you say? He was, yes, men call, men call, men call now, call. That is where his end will come. So, at least, uh, you cannot fault. But this morning, the conversation around has been that FIFA, the international football body, should institute a measure that once a player is found or a detection is found in his, any part of the body, especially the heart, that there is a condition that he cannot play. He should not be signed by any professional club. especially when the degree is at that level where you have to put an icd implant in your heart too much because we remember fabrice muamba he never came to the park or the field again so it is upon the fifa governing body to institute a measure that once it is detected that you have this heart problem maybe there are there are layers there are layers to it you understand yeah. this is in uh Mwepu. Uh -huh, the exambian uh, the heart detection you understand he's yeah. going through his treatment and he studio now yeah to also but i i think that this is, should come from fifa yeah. all international bodies maybe there are degrees or layers to the problems heart problems or any problem that can result in death or incapacitation the fifa should institute a measure say if you have a heart problem at this level maybe at the level where a uh, dangerous sometimes you can play for five or six years mm -hmm. sometimes you can play for one year sometimes you can play for Three i had to years. say a, a car that has been used mm -hmm. maybe i can go ten thousand miles before it breaks down maybe you can go hundred thousand if you can go hundred thousand then it says uh, okay you can play for three years after three years we advise that you stop maybe you can play for two years after two years we advise that you stop but when it has been detected that the heart has a problem a disease that is too dangerous to result in death or collapse at any point in time then the uh, the, the medical officers must advise that the club should not sign once you sign and anything on towards happen the club should bear the consequences of that yeah there should be that uh, 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 whether the player wants to play the club should still insist that uh, they, they they are going to bear the the duty of care consequences so they should not allow the player to play and yes sir as for a player there some of them they have medical conditions they will hide it yeah when you detect it you should go through a regulation that says we cannot sign you based on this heart condition okay. i'm sure the medical officers dr pambo and co are able to detect and are able to put them in in in, in layers they are able to put them in degrees of danger that is where I think we can stop this. Mm, Otherwise, yeah. players will have problems and still want to play. play. Then at Some the of edge. them may be minors, cra. Yeah. Because managers, and so they need money. They, once the player plays, or the moment the player plays, or in the circumstance that the player plays, that is where the managers get their, mm. their share. And to another, 
Ube uo, uo, we have to go and sign a contract and give him 10 percent whether you will die or not but we have to get the situation where if the player wants to play but the medical condition is so dangerous to the point that it can result in death or any untoward circumstance mm. any point in time the, sh the player should not be signed exactly. because that is the only way I bet him I read you know. so this is the latest did. yeah just as Brighton did Brighton you know. did it sent a signal it's yeah. saying a play on it here. yes they are club but Brighton know. did for Gamina yes for but Gamina. then he went to a league with less tricks mm. uh, yeah, yeah he went to a league where okay. I mean the the the, the checkups medical oh, medical examinations uh, it's not as extensive and comprehensive uh, that is the problem I believe that we have to all get together yeah. and uh, enforce this or mm. uh, persuade FIFA Gamena should be the last yeah yes uh, you better die home now. You're bad. You're wishing a family, Rafael Gamina family, and uh, will be a very uh, their condolences, our deep, uh, deepest condolences to the family. I don't know, but I'm sure that uh, the body will be uh, transported to Ghana. Definitely, I'm sure he's from on the Ashanti region yeah, side. I think he's from Kwo. Yes, that's uh, what I read Kwo, right? Yeah, yeah. so uh, as an Akan, definitely they will they will fly the body here. And here we share the family, you no. Know, I'm very strong uh, as a breadwinner, <laughs> definitely. Mm -hmm. yes. And we, we pray that he's, he's in a very uh, good place. Uh,